So now I'm going to shoot this bow. This is the Groza Hungarian base, uh, 37 pounds at 28. I'm going to start off with a 430 grain and I'm going to shoot it uh, in the, the style that they shoot it in Hungary, which is this, the Western style with the arrow on the left hand side. But I'm going, to, I'm going to do both. I'm going to do thumb draw afterwards. I'm going to do this way first, uh, just because, you know, the, um, the current thought in Hungary is that they, they shoot in the Western style. Um, with an Asiatic bow, I'd probably argue that you shoot it with a thumb draw, but that's what they're doing. So anyway, let's have a look at this and see how it goes. I don't think this is going to be pleasant somehow, but here we are. Ooh, that is okay. It doesn't vibrate, but that was whack through the hand. That was a hefty whack. That was a really hefty whack. Hand shock. Oh, that is. I want to like this bow, you know. I want to. <laughs> but that is not nice. That is not nice by any stretch of the imagination. That's right. Uh, so that was a 430 just shot. This is a 500 carbon. A bit better. Okay, yeah, that's loose. It's a bit better, but not much. Oh no, that was it. It's horrible. It is really horrible. Six hundred grain. We'll see how these go. Oh, string serving's enormous tight on there, there, right, okay. Felt a bit better, but it's still not pleasant. Hmm. Oh, still hefty. Right, I'm gonna go and get the arrows, and then I'm gonna do thumb draw. Right, so I've got the arrows back. Uh, now I'm gonna shoot thumb draw. Uh, I also thought to myself, you know, I've got some slightly heavier arrows, um, 650s, because um, normally, you know, I shoot the standard sort of 430, 500, 600, but, this i think it needs something heavier i really do so i've, I've got some 650s they've got big bodkin, bodkins on the end um the sort of medieval authentic looking arrow like this you can see the bodkin uh, they're a bit heavier the weight of the bodkin the weight of the bodkin pushes it up a bit more um so we'll see how they do um they're also slightly thicker arrows the spine um so we'll see We'll see. We're going to do thumb draw now. So, 430 first. It's always hard when you switch from Mediterranean draw to thumb draw, just putting the arrows all in the wrong place. Right. Here we go. You know, Katra, a little bit of Katra does seem to help. It really does. Still, no, Katra is working, but it's, you can't remove that, that huge hand shock. It's quite fearsome on the left hand, really. I'm trying to hold it as lightly as I can, but it doesn't like it. It really doesn't like it. My hand doesn't like it. Five hundreds are a bit better. No, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I don't know, damn it, I really wanted to like this bow. Oops, thumb thing's coming off, there we go. Remember this trick I use as a thumb tape? This is uh, Elastoplast 
cohesion support bandage. It sticks under itself. It's really good for giving your thumb a bit of protection from bowstring. I hate shooting with thumb rings, but you know, sometimes you do need a little bit of protection on your hand. Yeah, that was a really good center shot. But the, uh, the it doesn't vibrate. It, uh, normally when you shoot a bow, you get this like vibration that happens afterwards. But it goes really quickly. It disappears really quick, the vibration. Yeah, I mean, you expect vibration, but this, uh, the hand shock is, it just throws itself forwards, which just tells you that those limbs have got an awful lot of weight in them. Kind of over-engineered. Here we go. Right, 630s, Six, sorry, sorry, 650s, 650s. We're gonna try these. We're gonna see how they go. And um, hopefully we're getting to the point where it's starting to not be so brutal to shoot. That's better. You know what? I'm gonna try Korean Katra as opposed to the uh, Saracen style Katra. Yeah, that's better. Right. We try a Korean cut around. Which means I'm gonna be twisting it out. Ah now. That was better. That wasn't too bad. I do find of the cutters that the Korean style cut around, where you rotate the bow outwards like this and you throw your arms apart and pull your shoulders together. I do find of the cutters the cutra that is the one that if you've got bad, you know, hand shock, it, it seems to um, be the one that can sort of mitigate it the most. I think it's because as you, as you push your hand out, you sort of throw, you know, the, the thrust of the hand shock is going that way and, and you sort of throwing it away. Um, yeah. So let's do a quick conclusion. Um, on this boat, uh, magnificently made thing from Groza. I mean, as you would expect, not too expensive, 170 euros. That's not bad. Uh, made, you know, so that it fits within the um, Hungarian uh, Archery Federation standards for traditional style bow based on 9th to 11th century grave finds. So, you know, uh, particularly I said, if you're a reenactor, Viking reenactor doing the Eastern uh, Viking reenactment, uh, particularly like the Rus. Uh, people of Rus, Rus culture, you know, or, or, or the uh, you know hybrid with Magyar Norse Magyar mix. This boat, perfect, absolutely perfect. So yeah, so if you want to show that to the public, you know, you're on the money. But shooting, uh, I you know I really wish that they would get away from this heavy fiberglass that they're using here. If you're grozer, if you're listening to me, you know, there are other forms of fiberglass that are lighter, that still give you the same poundage. You're not doing yourself any favors with, with using something this heavy, really, really you're not. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I, I, you know, I want to like this bow. I really want, because it looks so gorgeous. Yeah, it ticks all the right boxes, but mm, unfortunately with the shooting experience. Ah, right, so thank you for watching. Um, if you like this kind of content, um, give me a like, click that subscribe button, and I will catch you later.